Um, what's up? One Beast Rap here, and <clears throat> I will be, well, right now, I'm about to watch The Last Airbender Movie by M. Night Shyamalan, because it's playing on Nick, and I was watching it, don't judge me, so this video it will be show, I'll be making videos throughout the, as I'm watching the movie, and I will tell you my opinion at the end of it. <clears throat> I've watched it once, which the only time I watched it, I wasn't really focused on it. So now I'm going to try and really get into it. And I heard it's really bad, so let's see how it is. Uh, enjoy the video. Alright. First commercial of the movie. I've seen a pretty good amount of differences. The acting is not that bad. It could definitely do better. How Aang looks is interesting. I just don't like how they put so much detail in the tattoo because originally in the show, the tattoo wasn't that detailed. It was just a blue triangle. So, what was with all the fucking, like, designs on it? Like, what the fuck? And you could tell that they shaved his head for that. Like, you can see, like, where his hair is supposed to be. And is it me, or does he sound, sound like a little fucking girl? Straight up. <laughs> uh, the differences is... It's not bad that they added those differences. It just... If you've never... If you've seen the... Sh if you've never seen the show, you can tell... Or you can't tell the differences, well, because you've never seen the show. But if you have seen the show, see you later, Trey. Uh, if you have seen the show, then you're going to definitely tell the differences. It's kind of difficult seeing that. And also, Zuko, I fucking love Zuko. Zuko's fucking awesome. How he's in here, you he just... How his... In the show, his scar is covering his whole, I believe, left side of his face. It's either the left or right side. I think it's his right side of, the, of his face. Yeah, it's the right side of his face that the scar is on. Yeah, right side. And freaking... It's basically all right there. It's a giant scar. But there, it's just like, oh, it's little scratches. How he got the scar was from his father burning his face. Those little tiny scars will not come from a fireball hitting your damn face. But yeah, first commercial, that's what I've seen. I'll see you next time. Uh, I'll see you next clip. Ong? Ong? His name is Ang. The fuck? And freaking when they're escaping the damn well when Ang is ex Ang not Ang, Ang is escaping freaking Zuko's ship. He goes all fucking Avatar State on them. He doesn't do it here. And then when he goes Avatar State, when he finds Mo Monkeyato's fucking skeleton, his Avatar State is all just like oh, I don't. Why no? When he goes into Avatar State, he gets a giant tornado around under his legs. Come on, this is... What year was this made? 2010. We had these fucking effects able to do that shit. It's very possible. You've got to be kidding me. What kind of horse shit is that? See you in the next clip. This pisses me off. This movie is pissing me off. Straight up. Oh my god, this movie is driving me insane. Alright. <laughs> The first Earth village that they come across when they realize that it's under the Earth, Fire Nation control, all the Earthbenders are on a metal ship, so they couldn't Earthbend. In this movie, they're just locked in a fucking village where there's Earth all around them.
And then freaking the same village, the first village where they rescue, where they save from the Fire Nation, fucking has a statue of uh, Avatar Kyoshi, which the statue of Kyoshi doesn't happen until they get to the island of Kyoshi, which I doubt is in this fucking movie, because freaking well, Sokka's supposed to run into freaking um, Suki, but. What the fuck? According to this, uh, fucking the island of Kyoshi does not exist. What kind of horse shit is that? And another thing that's really pissing me off is that firebenders cannot just bend fire. Does fire have to be around them? What in the original, in the original Avatar, firebenders sh are allowed, well, are able to just shoot fire out of nowhere, just like boom out of their hand. But no, here there has to be like a cauldron of fire, and there's like, Bruh! and then another thing, freaking, they made all the fucking, what's it called, all the fucking firebenders like Muslim type thing, to show that like the terrorists and all that kind of shit. What? No, no, not cool, not cool. Fucking movie! Alright. This movie is still really pissing me off. Uh. Alright. Aang, well, where they find the, the scroll is really stupid. Because originally they get the scroll from Qatar stealing it from a pirate ship. And in this one, they get it from the earth tribe that they save so bit unco uncoherent there also when Aang goes to the north air temple uh, originally in the anime um, Aang runs into a bunch of people who use the north air temple as uh, well they're building they're making machines there and that's where they were he gets where they get where they make the first airship. So really, and when but in this one he gets there. There's just one simple old man there who tricks him into the avatar room. Originally in the anime, he get he he opens the door with airbending, but there it just shows them just walking right in. So it's not really a secret. And also, couldn't be a secret because when he got there, the old men tricked him and the Fire Nation was there. So that makes absolutely no coherent sense. Uh, and then, when he gets trapped, that's when he gets locked up by Commander, by General Zhao, I believe it's, yeah, Com General Zhao, or Commander Zhao right now. And then the Blue Spirit, or Zuko, shows up. I believe he didn't, uh, Aang didn't get captured in the temple, like, he got captured before he got to the northern temple, but in this he got captured while he was at the air temple. So, bit no sense there. See you guys in the next clip. Alright, uh, let's see here. When Zuko breaks, or the blue spirit, Breaks Aang out of the fire, out of um, Zhao's captivity. That was pretty good. I have to admit, that was actually pretty interesting. I'm not a huge fan of how, like, to use the. Also, one thing, according to the movie, guys, be quiet. Sorry, that's my niece and nephew. According to the movie. Zhao kept Aang in the northern air. Guys, be quiet. <laughs> kept Aang in the northern air temple to for his captivity, but technically Aang was in like a fortress in the anime. Be quiet. Uh, they're in the northern air temple still. So when um, Zuko and Aang got out from Zuko threatening to kill the kill Aang. Uh, when uh, Zhao's archer hit uh, Zuko, uh, Aang automatically just put the freaking 
air spear around them and got him out of there. But in this, he saw Zuko, was surprised, then got him out. Which, in the anime, when they were in the forest is when he unmasked them. And also, Aang stayed around to wait for Zuko to wake up. So we can ask him if the war wasn't going on, would we still be friends? Aang left before Zuko woke up and all that kind of stuff. And then, when they got to the northern, the northern water tribe, that was really interesting. I like that. Be quiet! Uh, that was actually really interesting. I like the effects that they did there, but one thing that they missed out is that the teacher didn't want Katara to first learn waterbending because she was a woman. They took that completely out of the movie, so Katara was automatically learning. And in the anime, Aang wasn't afraid to use waterbending. Aang used it willingly. In this, he's like afraid to use it. I just don't get it. So I'll see you in the next clip. Alright, <clears throat> I don't have much complaints with this time. Uh, it was, I actually enjoyed the different ways of how the Fire Nation got inside of the Northern Water Temple. But one thing I just don't understand, throughout the movie, firebenders were only able to bend fire when there's fire near them. But when Zuko was trapped under the ice, he made heat in his hands, which... But well, originally that's what you're supposed to be able to firebend. But then later when you see him, he's like, nah, fuck that. And he has a torch of fire and he does that. It doesn't really make sense because if you can make heat in your hands, you should be able to just make fire as well. I just don't get it. That's my only complaint. During that sequence, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. See you in the next clip. Alright, another segment where not much I didn't see wrong. But according to Jonathan, which, yep. <laughs> uh, Zuko can make fire out of nowhere because he's part of the bloodline, royal, royal family. But I don't get it because, Colin, Jacob, stop. Because other firebenders in the anime, they were able to make fire out of nothing. I'll show you a video of them firebending. Later, after we're done. I saw Commander Hero, whatever. Hiro. Hiro. Yeah, he's able to do it. Because he's a? World Bloodline. Yeah. That's probably only in this movie, because no, in the no. anime, all firebenders can make fire out of nothing. As long as there's a royal royalty with them, they shouldn't have an issue. That makes no sense, because I've seen firebenders just, like, during the final, um, during the invasion of book, I believe book two or three. You mean when... Yeah. When the thing was eclipsing? Yeah. And every firebender had the ability to create fires? When the eclipse happens, they have no fire. Yeah. When there's an eclipse yeah. happen, no fire happens. Yeah. Yeah, they're all able to use fire. Yeah. Yeah, 20 seconds. Yeah. Before, I'm talking about before that. Before the fire nation yeah, but you wanna... Yeah. Yeah. As I was saying... I'll show you later. As I was saying... So far, right now, it's going pretty good. The only thing that I have to see wrong is that the fight with Aang and Zuko in the Northern Air Temple didn't happen like that. Because after Zuko captured Aang, he took Aang into the into the basically wastelandish area where it's all snowy and blizzardy. Jacob, be quiet. Where it was all blizzardy and everything. So and they're about to die out there and that's when Sokka and Katara come in and the hell. That doesn't happen like that. And then all Colleen! Shush And also when uh Zhao was about to kill the fish in this, he hesitated thinking, but in the anime, he was like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna kill this fish. So yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you in the next clip, which I think might be one of the last. See ya. Alright. The movie is over. It's not as bad as I thought. The anime is much better. Don't you agree, Jonathan? <laughs> the manga is even better. I've never read the manga. Uh.
It's not as bad as I thought. It was still pretty bad, though. And my Shyamalan. And my Shyamalan. There's your problem right there. Could have been a lot better. Oh, definitely. And since this movie is based off of book one, so there is still chance for two other movies, book two and book three. But I don't see it happening because this movie did horrible effects. Huh? It's a good visual effects. Oh, especially they try to keep it pretty consistent with the mon or with the uh, anime. Oh, they try to. Try to. Try to. <laughs> but yeah, not that bad. Not good either, though. Um, I'd give it a uh, two out of five. <laughs> and that's me being nice. Because, well... Uh, I think that's a little harsh. Two out of five. I mean, two out of five is like, hey, it was a watchable movie. It was. It was you watched it. Yeah. I mean... During whether the... it's bad entertainment or good entertainment, you got some entertainment out of it. Yeah, that's why I gave it a 2 out of 5. Uh, I think it's more of a 3 out of 5. Uh, 2 and a half out of 5. All right, I'll yeah. give it a 50%. 2 and a half out of 5. Uh, you get a 1 for making the movie. Yeah, you get a 1 you get for... A 2 for, you know, not being in some foreign hey she shay language. Yeah, and then you get the half because, well, the visual effects was actually really freaking awesome. Which would have technically gave it a 3, maybe even a 3 and a half. But then M. Light Shyamalan was involved, and that automatically drops it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Can I say the remote? 2.5 out of half. Okay, he's gonna edit it anyway, so he can edit my voice out of it. Yeah, so, nah, doesn't really matter. It's fucking So, 2.5, 2.5 out of 5. Halfway don't, don't good. The, the, the so, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. This one B strap signing out. Peace.